Here's another perennial favorites higher exam question, another optimization question. Uh, okay, so a window in the shape of a rectangle surmounted, strange word, but by a semicircle is being designed to let in the maximum amount of light. Now the glass to be used for the semicircular part is stained glass, which lets in one unit of light per square meter. And that's quite important actually. A lot of people skip straight past that and don't even take it in. The rectangular part uses clear glass, which lets in two units of light per square meter. Fair enough. Now the rectangle measures 2x uh, meters by h meters. Okay, now a part one. If the perimeter of the whole window is 10 meters, so the perimeter will effectively be these three sides of the rectangle and the arc of the semicircle. Um, okay, so we've been told that that's 10 meters. Express h in terms of x. Okay, well, what we need to do is find a way to, you know, express the perimeter. So the perimeter will effectively be this side, which is h, plus this side, which is 2x, plus this side, which is h, plus the arc of the semicircle. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So I'll take this, pop it over here, and let's do this. So I'll bring this down here so we can actually look at it. Right. Um, hmm. So this is A, part one. So the perimeter we've been told is 10 meters. Okay, and we also know that the perimeter will be 2h plus 2x plus, well, what is effectively the arc of the semicircle, which is half of the circumference of the semicircle, which is just pi d. Okay, so that's the perimeter will be 2h plus 2x plus a half of, well, what's the diameter? Well, the diameter is 2x because that's effectively the diameter. So it'll be 2x pi, just changing the order around. The half and the 2 cancel each other out, which will be that the perimeter, which is 10, so I'll change that, is 2h plus 2x plus x pi or pi x, however you wish to write it. Let's rewrite this for 2h now. Okay, so 2h, keep it on the right hand side, take these two things over, will be 10, subtract 2x and subtract pi x. Subtract 2x, subtract pi x. Let's uh, half everything. So that means h will just be 5, subtract x, subtract a half pi x. And that's pretty much it. So, great, we have an expression for h. Okay, so next part, and that was two marks. Next part, let me bring this closer so it's easier for you to see. Hence, show that the amount of light um, L let in by the window is given by this. Now, the amount of light will be dependent on the area, which we can work out, and by the amount of light let in, um, for each, uh, each square meter effectively, which is two units for this part and one unit for the semicircular part. So let's have a look at that. Now you'll notice once again, H does not play a role in this. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll do it like that. Right, let's move this up so that we can actually see it. Well, L equals, and I wonder in fact if I bring this over here if you can see it if I slide this over et voila that just works out okay so L will be the one unit times the area of the rectangle plus I'll just need to slide that out of frame sorry plus two units because ah sorry Got it the wrong way around. This will be two units, haha. -ha. And that will be one unit. Because, and the reason I did that was two units of light come in per square meter for the rectangle, and only one unit of square light. Where is it? One unit of square light comes in for the semicircular stained glass part. So that'll be two 
times the area of the rectangle plus 1 times the area of the semicircle, which I'll just draw very badly like that. It almost looks like a triangle. Yeah, I don't do art. Okay, right, so let's do that. So that's 2 times the area of a rectangle, length times breadth, plus 1 times the area of a, of a circle, or a semicircle in this case will be a half pi r squared. Okay, so that'll be 2 times the length of this is 2x, and we'll call the breadth h. So that'll be 2xh plus 1 times a half pi, and the radius is just going to be a half of the diameter, which will be a half of 2x, which will simply be x. So it'll be a half pi x squared, like so. Okay, right. Tidying this up a little bit will give me 4xh plus a half pi x. But then they look at this and they realize, oh wait, I do need to in fact get rid of the h. So how do we do that? Well, we know that h is in fact this here, 5 minus x minus a half pi x. So how about we take that and sub it in? for that h there. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's going to be 4x multiplied by 5 minus x minus 1 half pi x and that's h there plus and of course we've still got this half pi x squared over here. So let's tidy this up and see how that looks then. So 4x times 5 that's going to give me 20x 4x times minus x is going to give me minus 4x squared, and 4x times minus a half pi x is going to give me minus 2 pi x. And of course I've got my plus half pi x squared over here. And so I've got minus 2 pi x plus a half pi x. Oh, wait, that's squared. Haha. -ha. These two things can actually come together and tidy up. So we've got our 20x minus 4x squared, and I've got minus 2 pi x squared plus a half pi x squared. It's going to leave me with minus 3 halves oh, pi x squared, which is, so that's 20x minus, well, L equals 20x minus 4 pi, pi uh, 4 x squared minus 3 halves pi x squared. And that is exactly what they were looking for, 20x minus 4 x squared minus 3 halves pi x squared. So I'll just put as required. Lovely. So that's that part done. That was effectively two marks there, so four marks in total. Um, let's have a look at part B. Now, part B is asking us to find the values of X and H that must be used to allow this design to let in the maximum amount of light. Once again, we are being asked to find the maximum stationary point, the maximum turning point. So we need to go ahead and differentiate. Once we've differentiated, we make it equal to zero, or make the differential equal to zero, and solve. So let's have a look at that. So if I move this to the side, move this to the side, get a fresh piece of paper. I'm going to start with the actual question itself, or the actual equation. This is part B. So L equals 20x minus 4x squared minus 3 halves pi x squared. So we're going to differentiate this, so L dash, and again if anyone's not too sure about the differentiation process itself, please feel free to look at one of my other videos where I talk about uh, differentiating. So if I differentiate this, that will leave me with 20 minus 8x minus 3 pi x, and again I do have to make this statement um, in higher in order to obtain marks. So for stationary points, L dashed X equals or L dashed equals zero for stationary points. And there is not just one correct way to write this statement. There are numerous ways, as long as you're getting the gist of it. So, pardon me, that'll be zero equals 20 minus eight X minus three pi X. Now I've got minus eight X and a minus three pi X. Let's take those two over to the other side. That'll become positive eight X positive 3 pi x, and that will equal 20. I have x as a common factor that I can take out, which will leave me with 8 plus 3 pi, and of course this equals 20. So how about we take this over, and it will become x equals 20 over 8 
plus 3 pi. And if anyone's wanting to turn that into a natural decimal value itself, you can do, and it will work out to be, give me a second, that will equal approximately 1.148 meters. Now, you can state your x value like this if you wish, or you can state it as a decimal. Uh, the SQA do not have a preference according to that. So, that's a so let me get the question itself. We still need to find the h value that gives us the maximum amount of light. So in order to be able to find that, we actually use what we found back here for h, which is this expression. Oops, I can see it's not in frame. This expression here. So 5 minus x minus a half pi x squared. So let's use that to help us find out what our h value should be. So h equals 5 minus x minus one half pi x. Right, so if we do that, so that's five, take away in x is, now you can use either this or this value, I'll just use 1.148 minus a half pi, 1.148, okay. And if we plug that into the calculator, h works out to be approximately 2.049 meters, or if you did choose to use this version, it will come out to be roughly 5, well, not roughly exactly, I guess in this case, 5 pi plus 20 over 3 pi plus 8. And of course, that's meters. So then we just make our final statement. Therefore, max light let in when x equals 1.1, and I'll round it to two decimal places, 1.15 meters, and h equals uh, 2.05 meters. And that's pretty much it. That's the question answered. We've given them um, the x and the h, which gives us the maximum amount of light. That's pretty much it. That's another differentiation optimization question done. Should you have any questions or if there's anything else you wish to know, any other questions, feel free to put up a comment, send a message, and of course, all subscriptions will be appreciated. Thanks very much.